everybody. So in this video, we are going to understand more about the Chinese remainder theorem. And the best way to do it is to go through examples. Remember that in Chinese remainder theorem, we are solving system of simultaneous congruent equations. And these equations are in the form x is congruent to r sub r mod m sub r where r depends on how many equations that you will solve and this equation is solvable by following this formula for example let us solve these four equations so we have four equations to solve since 5 7, 11, and 13 are pairwise relatively prime, the Chinese remainder theorem tells us that there is a unique solution modulo. To simply say, it is possible to solve these equations. And we are free to set this unique solution modulo as capital O. And this O is solvable by multiplying your MRs. That is 5, 7, 11, and 13. So you're going to multiply them 5 times 7 times 11 times 13, 5,005. We are solving this O because we are going to use it later on on the latter solutions. Going back to our equations that we are solving, in the equations alone, you can already see that the value of a's are already given. That is, from the form, you can see that the a's are 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have a sub 1, that's 3. a sub 2, that's 4. a sub 3 is 5. And a sub 4 is 6. Now, we are only left to solve the values of our m's and y's. So to find m, we'll just simply follow this formula. m sub r is equal to O divided by the small letter m sub r. Say for example, we are going to solve for the m sub 1. We are going to have it m sub 1 is equal to, that's 5005 divided by the MR of our first equation, that is 5. So, 5,005, I guess that's 1,001. So, our M1 here is equal to 1,001. So, we're going to put it here. Now, another trick or another tip for you to simply solve for the m is to just simply multiply the mrs of the remaining equation say for example you are finding the m of the first equation so you're just you'll just simply multiply 7 11 and 13 and if you're going to solve it it will give you the same answer as 1001 okay so let's move on to m sub 2 m sub 2 is 5,005 divided by your MR for the equation 2, that's 7. That is 715. So, again, as I, as I said earlier, 715 can be obtained by multiplying the MRs of the remaining equation. 5 times 11 times 13. And it will give you the same answer as 715. Now I'm going to put it here. M sub 3 is equal to 5,005 divided by 11. It will give you 455. 555. Now we are only left to solve for M sub 4. That is 385. I'm going to put it here. As you can see, we have already solved for our A's and our M's. And we are only left 
to solve for our y's. So to solve y, we simply just to have or to solve for the inverses of our m, which we just solved earlier, mod the number. That is y sub r is equal to m sub r inverse mod r. Say, for example, we are going to solve for our y sub 1. So, we are finding the inverse of our m sub 1. That's 1001 inverse mod 5. So, to find the inverse, you're just going to ask yourself, what is the number that I'm going to multiply to 1001, that will give me a product of 1 in the world of modulo 5. So to give you a clearer picture that is, to find the inverse of 1001, you're just going to ask yourself, what is the number that you will going to multiply to 1001 that will give you a product of 1 under the modulo 5, under mod 5. The answer to that is 1. So I'm going to write it here. 1. So let's move on to y sub 2. Sub 2 means you're going to solve for the inverse of 715. So again, you're just going to ask yourself, what? is the number that I'm going to multiply to 715 to give me a product of 1 if it is under the mode 7. So, 715 times 1 is equal to 715. And 715 is a number more than 714, which is a multiple of 7. So we have already obtained our y sub 2. That's 1. Moving on, we have the y sub 3. And the answer to that is 3. And lastly, y sub 4 again is simply finding the inverse of 385 mod 13. That is 5. Because 385 times 5 is equal to 1,925 and that is one more than that is a number more than 1,924 and that 1,924 is a multiple of 13. Why some 4? That's 5. Since we have already obtained our values for our A's, M's, and our Y, this now the time for us to substitute it to our formula. That is x is equal to a sub 1, that's 3, times m sub 1, that's 1001, times y sub 1, that's 1, plus a sub 2, that's 4, times 715, times 1. Plus, we have a sub 3, that's 5, times 455, times 3, plus, that's 6, times 3, that's 6, times 385, times 5. And this will give you the answer, x is equal to 24,200. 38. Now, this is our solution. That's 24,238. However, if you wish to reduce it to have the unique solution of this equation, so if you're go, I'm just going to write it here for you to have the picture on how to re reduce or how to obtain the unique solution. You're just going to solve that's 24,000. 
238 mod O. The O that we solved earlier and it's 5005. So you're just going to solve this equation for you to have the unique solution. So that's it. That's all for our discussion for today in this video, the Chinese Remainder Theorem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Have a good day.